Hey guys, it's Deli and welcome to another speed build. Happy belated Valentine's Day. Uh, this speed build is a bit different. It is a library slash hangout that I thought would be quite good uh, combined with Sims University. As you can see, I'm presenting it as kind of a, having a Valentine's Day theme as a place where young Sims when they're at uni, could kind of meet other sims. And here is Eva, uh, a sim. If you have watched my other videos, you may recognize her from the Let's uh, Renovate a Starter Home in Sunset Valley. So she's just chilling out here, uh, checking out the venue that I've created. As you can see, it's a bit of a mixed bag. There's table tennis tables and uh, also a library area, computers, lots of chairs and foosball tables. Basically, it uh, it only uses the base game and uh, Sims University. But if you don't have university, there's actually only really a few items such as a table tennis table uh, in there. So it's not too bad if you do want to download it. Um, so here is the sp speed build part and uh, I was trying to make lines um, like road lines to make a car park but for some reason when I was trying to match the textures of a striped texture and just a plain texture the texture kept changing like if you zoomed up close the greys were really different so in the end I just scrapped that idea and used uh, a little bit of fee fi -fo, uh, fencing I think that's what it's called so I've had to black out the computer a few times because I was going to and from uh, Spotify, I think, uh, <laughs> listening to a few different tunes there. But yeah, I wanted to do something really special for Valentine's Day for you guys, and I was gonna do like a wedding venue, but then I was like, oh, it's a bit, it's a bit like typical. So I thought a a library slash hangout where kind of you could maybe put it in the Sims University town, and it'd be kind of cool for Sims to kind of meet each other while studying. Uh, so yeah, that was just an idea of mine. And also I've had a fair few requests for a community lot and in particular a library. So I thought it was a really nice idea and I did want to do that. Uh, the exterior is going to be a red color because I thought that kind of went well with the fact it's been Valentine's Day. And I hope you guys had a nice day. And your Valentine, whether that be a actual person or whether that be your Xbox or a pizza or whatever you did on Valentine's Day, it was enjoyable. <laughs> uh, I went to Chinatown and had dumplings, which was really, really yummy. And they were so good. And I had these like um, pumpkin, pumpkin things that tasted like cinnamon donuts. I have no idea what they were, but they were so amazingly good. Sorry, this is totally off theme though. <laughs> um, okay, so you can kind of see the general form here of the library. There's a lot of kind of, um, oh, there's a little bit of constrained floor elevation to kind of get this. I, I view it as kind of a U-shaped slash L-shaped uh, form where it's kind of wrapping around the building, if you get my drift. <laughs> uh, kind of lots of different shapes and very... Uh, I don't know what the word is, I guess abstract, an abstract build this time. And uh, here I am experimenting with the different colors. It's in Sunset Valley at the moment, so um, I think halfway through the build I actually build it in the university uh, town, but then I figured out that you can't actually save it from that town, which was kind of awkward, so I had to bring it back to Sunset Valley. But I was wanting to go with green to begin with and then with a mango color, but I thought, oh, I've done mango before, so red would be very nice for Valentine's Day. I also like the orange too, that's pretty rad. Um, and then I've kind of mixed it with some masonry gray bricks and some gray uh, floorboards, or not floorboards, but paneling there, which is a little bit nifty and playing around with the fencing. In the end, I just go with this uh, really stark black fence. I thought that went well with the uh, bold color of red there. And uh, yeah, having a bit of fun. Also, I do apologize. I did, if you do follow me on Twitter, I did say that I was excited to be releasing a build uh, a little while ago and I said it wasn't too far off. <laughs> 
I was a little bit of a Gumby and had some technological issues uh, where I had to unfortunately re-record because I didn't record myself the first time and then I was just having problems with my internet so I'm sorry that had to kind of uh, take my sweet time with publishing this on YouTube uh, but I guess sometimes that's what happens on on these uh, big jobs <laughs> and pretty much the exterior here is what it's going to look like. Um, I turned that back area into a little like bike area for people to put their bikes because a lot of sims when you take them to uni or university I think it would be kind of hard to afford a car for some of them anyway and um, using some of the invisible lights from by debug mode which allows you to um, I've said this in a lot of my videos but it just allows you to be able to purchase objects that don't appear in the normal buy catalog. I'm also struggling with uh, CFE a little bit there. The walls kept popping up all the time. <laughs> As you can see there, I'm having, having to level them out a lot and uh, getting rid of those little floating arrows, which are kind of are really annoying. Uh, and I made this little kind of mezzanine level here and uh, I thought that was kind of nice to add I don't know, a little bit of um, adventure into the into the build, shall we say? <laughs> I don't know, not really adventure, but makes it a little bit more different, I suppose. And uh, sorting out the the arrangement of the rooms on the lower level. There's also bathrooms here as well for lady ladies and men, uh, and a nice complimentary green door to go with the red and the surrounding trees, which I thought was quite nice. Uh, this is on a 40 by, 40 by 40, 30 by 30. Actually, I think it's on a 30 by 30 lot, so it should be pretty easy to uh, fit into any town, really, that you're working with. And uh, this extra section I'm adding on here is a... This is kind of the library section or the study area where the computers and the shelving is going to go. I wanted it to have tons and tons of glass and light and actually I do just remember I have actually used skylights from Into the Future there so uh, if you don't have that it will be fine without them but that just adds a little bit of, um, little bit of snazziness to, <laughs> to the whole build I think. It's a great expansion pack, by the way, Into the Future. I know I've said this before, but for someone who doesn't like unrealistic content in their game, I'm really happy I got it because the build items are really, really awesome, uh, especially the windows and the skylights. Uh, and also, thank you for your comments on my most recent video, Let's Build a... Oh, Let's Renovate a Starter Home in Sunset Valley, Part 2. Uh, lots of ideas there. I am looking forward to changing it up quite a bit, actually. Uh, it, it's really quite difficult um, when you're just starting out, which I am, to actually be building and thinking while talking at the same time. So uh, it, it's good when I can read your comments and kind of sit back and then reflect on what I've done so the next episode I can really improve it. That's really good, and I'm really excited because I have a couple of uh, collabs coming up, which should be really fun. I'll be working on that this afternoon, uh, which is good. One's with Jason Mazda, a fellow Australian, who is a really, really awesome builder. Um, so that will be good. And just putting in some more fencing here. I think I take that away, do I? Oh no, I add it because I kind of put uh, plants on that edge there near the windows, the inset windows. And there's a lovely decking area which I thought was really nice to kind of hang out uh, as a hangout spot. My uni has a lot of spots like that uh, and it's really nice to just chill out, I guess. And I really wanted to put bean bags in here because my uni has bean bags which is so comfortable, but bean bags came with generations and I didn't want to use too many expansion packs, so I just used university and the base game. University is pretty cool, there's some really nice items in that as well. And I was trying to put some of this uh, fencing around the, the roofing here, but it just, 
kind of it's a shame that that fencing has the square corners oh i have to save there very important <laughs> uh if you get what i mean it has really blocky corners so if you're doing like a really kind of i don't know just clean block of a room which that extra section is it looked i don't know it just looked really bad <laughs> Uh, so I took that out and organizing the toilets here with uh, some nice tiles, some nice gray slash charcoal tiles that also matches the rest of the room. And uh, yeah, I really like uh, quite dark public bathrooms because I feel like they look more hygienic because there's uh, you can't really see grime as much. That's just a personal preference of mine. And of course, the ladies bathroom is slightly bigger and uh, then the males and there are more toilets because it's so annoying being a girl like the women's toilets just is so much more busier than the men's men are so quick they just go in and out and then us girls have to wait forever in the line oh there's another sneaky into the future shelf okay i promise it's just the shelf and the skylights that is from into the future I do like those shelves a lot. <laughs> Using move objects on here to put the shelves through the desk. Your Sims can still use those computers uh, very easily. I've tested that out and I made sure that the Sims can walk around these walls and desks and chairs really easily because uh, someone did mention <laughs> if you do a library, it made me giggle, um, please make sure that they can get around the shelves. So very important of course which i made sure to to include and just putting some patterns on the chairs here lots of lots of fun blue and reds uh which keeps the place looking pretty youthful and and light-hearted because you don't want to be studying in a place that is just like icky to look at you know there's nothing worse than that if you're stuck doing an essay and you're surrounded by like brown brick walls oh. and playing around with some rugs here this is when I change into the university world uh, you can see the surroundings are quite different uh, just loading all of the cas there and I've kind of gone with a theme of or a color scheme of greens and oranges and blues or kind of like a bluey greeny colors uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. I do change those rugs though. Having a bit of fun with these paintings. And thank you for the comments that said if you hold down alt, you can adjust exactly where the painting goes on the wall. Because I actually didn't know that. So that is awesome uh, that you don't have to kind of snap to the grid for paintings, which is cool. And uh, I've lent the painting in the bottom left hand corner there on the desk, which I often like to do. And uh, these lights clustered together with some patterns on them. I love orange and grey together. It's probably my favourite colour scheme, orange and grey or yellow and grey. Oh, so, so flawless. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just putting the computers in. I do love kind of putting this little shelf in between the desks and making the desks uh, into L shapes. Those lights are from the desk lamps are from University Life. Um, they're really nice. I like them. They're very big and generous lights, which is good for interiors where it's hard to kind of get a bit of light into them. Just the light from the base game there as well. And moving around these uh, spotted rugs, and I think the circular rugs, uh, they, they make the place look youthful as well because of the curved edges. It's kind of fun and light-hearted. Kind of like bubbles, if it makes sense. <laughs> I love bubbles. So cool. I actually bought, uh, you know, Johnson's, like Johnson's the brand. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sure Johnson's is kind of like a worldwide thing. I'd assume Johnson's brand is American. It's like for uh, bathroom stuff. Well, anyway, I remember Johnson's when I was a little girl and having like, it has a really strong aroma that, I don't know, sorry, this is the biggest ramble ever. But anyway, the point is, I had a bubble bath the other night and I bought Johnson's bubble bath and I got really excited because it was such a blast from the past because I felt like I was five again and it was, it was pretty awesome. But anyway, cool story. Uh, <laughs> here 
here I'm just kind of merging the side tables into the couch so it looks like it's attached, which is cool. There's a couple of vending machines from University Life as well. And just so you know, you can die from a vending machine falling on your sim, so don't shake it too much because that can happen. <laughs> Death by vending machine, that, that would be the saddest thing to happen to a sim. Oh, so sad. Uh, and here I'm just kind of fiddling around with putting a fancy kind of, I don't know, sitting area there that's framed by glass windows. So I was like, oh, I know what I can do. I can make a bus stop out the front. So this is a bus stop, which I got really excited about. I don't know, it's not that cool, but I was excited. And just merging those chairs there with move objects on cheat. Working our way up to the kind of mid-level slash mezzanine level where there's, again, overlapped couches in an L shape. Had I been using more expansion packs, I would have used uh, the sectional lounges from Late Night or Showtime where you just kind of connect the chairs with that. But I wanted to keep it, uh, you know, with not too many expansions. <laughs> And here are some tables for uni peeps to hang out at, or just your sims in Sunset Valley if you want. Of course, the typical mismatched chairs, which I like to use a lot. <laughs> that is no surprise. And just shuffling the tables around a little bit. I like how the sitting areas are on a level lower. And you can imagine people kind of leaning over the edge and being like, hey, what's up? Uh... But yeah, also putting those plants or greenery uh, on the balcony area there. Otherwise, I mean, it adds just kind of a nice uh, sense of, I don't know, the outside coming inside, I suppose, having those trees right near the window on a second level there. Putting in some of the exterior brickwork inside as well to kind of mix it up a bit. And here is the decking area. I love these boxes, they're from the base game. They're really awesome. They're really expensive though. Uh, so for a communi community lot, they're quite good. But I kind of, this isn't exactly realistic what I'm doing here. Like your Sims can't actually interact by sitting on these stools or anything. But I kind of imagined there'd be those kind of boxes that you go, well, that you find at like a trendy restaurant or something and then you kind of sit on them and you can shuffle them around depending how many people are with you. Uh, so yeah, if you want to use actual chairs, you can always change that if you would like to. <laughs> uh, going into nighttime view to kind of see how the lighting uh, would work. And lots of backpacks around the place from university life. Uh, although it's probably not very smart to leave your backpack there for uh, at, at a venue, you probably get stolen. <laughs> And also on the balconies here, I've just used the grass texture from the miscellaneous uh, section in Creator Style. So that's handy to just apply to a floor tile there to make it look like grass. And overlapping these tables again, I don't know, I thought that looked kind of cool. How you can kind of put those university books underneath it, you can slip them underneath. And this little area I kind of put some bins in as if it's, I don't know, an area where the garbage goes. Kind of fun. And these table tennis tables are awesome. I love those. A park near my house, I just, my little cousins came over uh, when it was really hot because I live near the beach. And they, uh, they discovered in the park there's like a concrete table tennis table for anyone to use, which is pretty cool. I should probably go use it. I used to be like all right at table tennis back in the day, so. I'll have to see if I uh, still have it in me. <laughs> and doing the landscaping here, I was very, very generous with uh, how many trees and shrubbery I put around here. It's uh, definitely very, very green, this venue. But it's it's nice. I like it. It's uh, It definitely looks very, very inviting. And here, just to finish up, are some screenshots. You can see the skylights there. And uh, some close-ups of the study areas with lots and lots of light. I kind of wanted to take these screenshots at dusk to kind of, I suppose, show the romance in the venue. <laughs> uh, 
and uh, that old mate there's enjoying a read. Um, there's a split level and the upstairs area and here are some shots of the exterior. Hope you guys enjoyed this. The download will be available in the description down below and uh, yeah, I'll have another build up soon. Bye!